Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I chat about all of my knitting and crocheting. Today I have a little video that I want to do to chat with you guys about a new design that is out today, just released. It is the Rainbow Connection Socks. So I have two different versions of this pattern to chat with you guys about. They are so bright and fun. So I will have links down below this video to everywhere that you can find me, links to Etsy and Ravelry where this pattern is available, as well as the coupon code will be down below, links to the yarn dyer that I'm gonna chat about for one of the versions. All that's gonna be there for you guys. So like I said, this is the Rainbow Connection sock pattern. And this one I've been working on for quite a while. It's been months and months and months in the making. Um, I started with version number, I think this is version number two in the pattern, but this is the first version that I started with. And this, the idea came to use scraps. I wanted to do something with scrap yarn. You guys know how much I love knitting with scraps. So that was my first idea with this. And here is how those turned out. It uses a solid or a tonal, and you start with that, that's color A. And then for this version, for color B, you are using scraps, minis, leftover bits, whatever you have lying around that you wanna to toss in here, you, that's what you're using. And I talk in the pattern about, you know, how often you can switch it up, you know, throughout the pattern repeat and all of that. So for this one, you can see all the different minis that I used. I just went through my basket back there and picked a bunch of different ones. Holding it with a gray, pretty much anything went with a gray, so it worked out really well. And the gray is just some leftover that I had from a previous project. So let me take this off so you can see the front. So you're carrying the two colors throughout. You're starting with color A and then you add in the different minis you're not having to cut color A until you kitchener that toe. You carry it throughout and then you're changing it up with the minis. So there's the front of the sock. It is a very fun slip stitch texture. The pattern is written for cuff down with instructions for a slip stitch heel flap. And there are tutorials in the pattern for the German twisted cast on for how to do this stitch here on the front, and then for how to kitchener your toe. So there are three different video tutorials linked within the pattern. And like I said, this is the first one that I came up with. Then came this one. Susan of Desert was to Dye Works so in my knit group, and she said, you know, that would look great with self-striping. I said, you know, I was kind of thinking that. So here we go. She's a genius and she dyed up some kits. This one I believe is the summer rainbow kit. I could be wrong on that. <laughs> I think that's what this one is. Um, I will link her shop down below. She is gonna have pre, I think she's doing pre-orders. I think she said she's gonna have a limited amount ready to ship and then the rest will be pre-orders. So I will link her shop down below for you guys. But here is the one that I knit up with this kit. There are four different kits, one for each season. So um, winter, spring, summer, and fall rainbow kits. And they come two 50 gram skeins. You get 50 grams for color A and then 50 grams of the self striping. This one was so much fun to see those bright colors, that black against those neons. Oh, it's perfect. So for this one, the black is color A and then color B is self-striping. So you have your choice there. I talk about both versions. The pattern's the same for both. It's just switching up color B pretty much. Are you using self-striping or are you using minis? You could even do two solids or tonals and that would look awesome as well. It's just whatever you wanna use for color B. So for with the self-striping, you kind of have that fun of 
it's kind of magic, right? Like self-striping, I just think it's very magical and it just does that work for you and it just looks awesome. You don't have to cut your colors and change colors. So that's the fun of self-striping. You get those stripes without having to do any of the work because it's been done for you. And then with this, you get to be creative and do your own stripes, throw in colors however you want. Just make it whatever you want. I think this is perfect for both self-striping or for scraps and minis. This will definitely be one I do quite often, I think, with both self-striping or minis because I have a lot of both <laughs> in my stash. So of course I have a coupon code to share with you guys. This is good starting today, April 1st, and will last until April 8th. I believe, let me double check on that. Yes, until April 8th, and it'll get you 15% off if you use the code RAINBOW. And I will put that right here on the screen and down below as well with the links. So you can use that code on either Etsy or Ravelry, whichever you get instructions um, for both self-striping and the minis and the pattern. There's not, like I said, it's the same pattern repeat for both. I just chat about how I, um, did both versions within the pattern. So I hope that you guys are excited about this one. I hope it's one that you enjoy. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with for this, the different versions that start popping up. So be sure to tag me on Instagram if you post there and use the hashtag rainbow connection socks. I can't wait to see them. So be sure to head over and check out the pattern. Give it a favorite on Ravelry. If you can't purchase right now, that always helps. And I will chat with you guys again soon. Happy knitting. Bye.